There's a couple different types of frequency distribution tables you can do. And the first um, one we're going to talk about is simple frequency distribution table. So what we have over here is we have raw scores on quiz number three. So each one of these scores represent, um, here in blue, uh, an individual's score. So we could say that, in theory, um, Maria scored a uh, 73, right, on her quiz number three, and uh, Lucy scored a 84, right? So each one of these um, scores in blue represent one person's individual raw score. Over here, we're going to start creating our frequency distribution table. Okay, so again, a quick summary on symbols. X um, means a raw score, whatever that raw number is. F is just a symbol for frequency. So where you go is you figure out, okay, um, we go um, largest to smallest or smallest to largest. It's really arbitrary. It doesn't matter um, which way you go. Just pick one and go with it. I, I was taught to go smallest to largest. That's the one we're going to go with, but if you feel more comfortable going largest to smallest, that's okay. So it looks like the smallest number I see is um, 64. So let me um, write down 64. And how many people had a score of 64? It looks like just one. And then it jumps to 72. And, um, oh, and one quick trick I was taught, um, always cross off whenever you have written down or you counted that frequency of that raw score so you don't lose count of which one you've counted and which one you haven't. So we only had one person do 64. It looks like we had a few people do 70. Oops. 72s. So let's see here. We have uh, two people that did a 72. Okay. Oh, three people that did a 72. The next one was then 73. And we had, let's see here, one, um, two, two people. It had 73. And then it jumps to the B range, so 84. Um, I saw a couple of those. So one, two, oh, three. Three people had an 84. And then 86, looks like um, just one had an 86 and then it jumps to a 91 and um, one person that's all I see yeah, for 91 and then skips 92 but we had um, one two um, two people score a 93 and then one person score a 97 so again what what this is this is a simple frequency distribution uh, chart and the reason I keep saying simple is that each one of these raw scores um, down here right each one of these raw scores has a place somewhere on this frequency distribution table. There's two different types of distribution tables. You have grouped frequency which we'll do next and this one is the simple frequency distribution table where each one of these raw scores um, is found over here and um, were counted over here in the frequency um, part of it.